So I was getting ready to make a video about disappointing rookies in 2020, then all of a sudden I see this Adam Schefter tweet about Matthew Stafford's now a Los Angeles Ram, Jared Goff's a Detroit Lion, there's a bunch of draft picks involved, and I'm like, hey, we gotta talk about this. So Matt Stafford has been traded to the Rams in exchange for Jared Goff, the former first overall pick, two first overall picks in this draft actually, because Stafford was as well back in the day. Uh, two first round picks are going to Detroit and a third round pick. So obviously the Rams, based off the Jalen Ramsey trade and some other moves, they don't care about draft picks. They want the proven commodity. That's kind of the way the Rams have built this thing. And I don't know if this trade makes sense for either team. I guess like if you're Detroit, you get Jared Goff, who I think is league average at best. I know some people want to put Jared Goff in like their top 10 area. I'm not really there. I think Jared Goff is somewhere from 15 to 20 for me. Um, he had that great season in 2018. I think a lot of it, Sean McVay and 2017. But teams have kind of figured him out. I know he played through an injury in the playoffs this year, but still, Jared Goff's not really doing it for me. Matt Stafford, though, is a guy I've, uh, I've always been a fan of. I think Matthew Stafford's been very underrated throughout his career because he played in Detroit. They've had, I think, two playoff appearances in his tenure, which has now been like 10 years, basically. And when you watch Matt Stafford play... He's like, he does a lot of things that many quarterbacks can't do. He has a rocket arm. He's out there throwing no look passes. He doesn't, he doesn't get the attention Patrick Mahomes does. But Matt Stafford, I mean, you look at his numbers, he was on pace at one point to be the NFL's leading passer. I think that might not happen anymore because he had uh, a couple injuries the past few years. But Matt Stafford, I think, is exponentially better than Jared Goff. You might not agree, but when I watch both of those guys play, and I've watched him play many times, I've come away saying Matthew Stafford's a lot more talented. So now you put Matt Stafford in this better situation with Sean McVay. Um, the offensive line for the Rams looked better last year. They have the receivers. They have Cooper Cup still, Robert Woods, Van Jefferson still there. I think Josh Reynolds is a free agent. Gerald Everett's a free agent, but they still have uh, Tyler Higby. Now, the Rams have decisions to make because the Rams have guys on their defense that are free agents. I think Leonard Floyd's a free agent. Uh, John Johnson, the safety who had a good year as a free agent. Uh, Troy Hill, the cornerback, I think is a free agent. So they have decisions to make there. And the Rams, it seems like, have unlimited cap space and they make Make all these things happen somehow, but the Rams clearly want to win now. I get it. I don't love the fit, but I do think Matt Stafford in a Sean McVay offense with the weapons they have should be fine. I preferred to see Stafford on the 49ers, which is what I had in my video a couple days ago, but it is what it is. The Rams are a better situation than Detroit. I'll put it that way. Now for the Lions side of it, I think the Lions are going to suck next year. I don't know how else to sugarcoat that. The Lions are going to be like a three or four win team next year at this rate, probably. Um, do they re-sign Kenny Galladay? They have Marvin Jones as a free agent. Um, their defense has not looked great, obviously. No more Matt Patricia. They hired Dan Campbell, who had an interesting press conference. I don't know what to expect there, but he had a long contract. They're giving him time to build. I think they knew at that point Matt Stafford was probably going to be traded anyway, so it's not a surprise to anybody. Their new GM came in, made no promises to him, and you know here we are uh, you know, just a couple weeks later, and Matt Stafford is now a Los Angeles Ram. So I don't know how long it's going to take the Lions to completely rebuild and get this thing done. I don't know if, if Jared Goff's the quarterback of the future for the Lions. I don't really see that happening, especially if they have a, a three or four win season like I expect. But hey, maybe he does surprise us. I mean, the Lions right now, as I said, they have a lot of wide receivers that are up for free agency. They had uh, Kenny Galladay who's a free agent. Danny Amendola is a free agent. Marvin Jones. Even their fourth guy, Marvin Hall, was on the team. Now he's off. I think he's on Cleveland now or something. They uh, released him. So the Lions have no receivers basically outside of TJ Hawkinson. So... I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm interested to see how the Lions complete this rebuild over the years. I don't think the Lions will be competitive for another two or three years, but we'll find out how that goes. They're in a pretty bad spot because the Lions don't have a lot of talent anywhere. They traded Darius Slay. As I mentioned, they could lose Kenny Galladay. There's not much talent on that roster. I mean, I know they have like Trey Flowers. They have... Desmond Trufant was there who did, you know, not too well. Jeffrey Okuda hopefully bounces back for them, but like their team's not great. Taylor Decker's a pretty good left tackle, but their team just, you know, talent wise is not where good teams are supposed to be. And for Los Angeles and the Rams, we'll see. I mean, the, the takeaway I have here is if he can get two, if you can get two first round picks for Matt Stafford at 32 years old and a contract making, I think 32, $34 million per year, what's going to be the return for Deshaun Watson? Like we got to talk about that because Deshaun Watson is basically seven or eight years younger. He's better. Um, what kind of return can you get for Deshaun Watson? This might be like a four or five first round pick type deal if Matt Stafford's getting two first and a third and Jared Goff, who's, you know, an average quarterback. So 
Very interesting trade. It's not surprising. I did expect Stafford to be moved, of course. They kind of just came out and said it last week, but uh, I was surprised it happened around 10 o'clock tonight. But uh, yeah, Matt Stafford is going to be a Ram. That's going to be tough to imagine because Matt Stafford's been there forever in Detroit, and I'm sure Detroit Lions fans will love Matt Stafford forever. He displayed a lot of toughness. He was a great guy in the community, a good teammate. I think he gave Detroit his all, and unfortunately, they never built around him the right way, and he never really won anything. But I hope for Matt Stafford's sake, they have success in uh, LA. And for the Lions, I don't have high expectations the next couple years, but if they somehow build that thing the right way, then good for them. But right now, I just don't think the Lions are in a good spot, and I don't think Jared Goff is their guy for the future. But I'm sure he'll be the guy for them in 2021, and they'll see how it goes. But yeah, that'll do it. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this trade. Let me know in the comments also what type of trade is Deshaun Watson going to have now because this is going to be a wild one if it happens. I mean, maybe he stays in Houston. Who knows? But, yeah, we'll find out. I think J.J. Watt wants out now, too. There's a lot going on in Houston and a lot of offseason buzz and some trades happening, of course. But, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a, uh, leave a like if you did, and I'll talk to you guys next time.